Hey there home buyers and actual homeowners as well. Uh, I'm really excited about this video because for a very long time I wanted more education as far as what the home inspection is and what it all entails. So I'm here joined with Ben Schatz of Dunsing uh, Inspections and he's going to be able to answer a lot of the questions that I've aggregated over the years from my home buyers and some of the questions I have to help you make better decisions and to become you know, more educated and knowledgeable as you go through the uh, home process. So Ben, thank you for being here. Can you tell a little people about your background and your company background? Sure, uh, I've been a home inspector now licensed in Illinois for two years, uh, working on going on about a thousand inspections. Um, our company is Dunsing Inspections, it's actually been around since about 1980 and uh, done over 50,000 inspections in the Chicagoland area and actually up in uh, Wisconsin also. So. Nice. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, let's jump right into it. So what, what exactly is a home inspection? So a home inspection is a way for a home buyer to go into a house that they've maybe only seen one or two times and kind of really get a good understanding of what is wrong with the house, what needs to be uh, maintained or fixed, and uh, what things they can do to help prevent uh, you know, future maintenance issues uh, going down the road after they buy the home. Let's talk about the actual inspection, mm -hmm. right? Without getting too granular mm -hmm. and making us all fall asleep, okay? <laughs> Walk us through the process. The first thing I always ask clients when we get there is, what are your concerns with the home? Uh, do you have any specific questions or concerns that you've come across in the home uh, that you'd like me to specifically look at? And then again, when we get to those points in the inspections, we like to show people, you know, whatever it is, you know, concerning that specific item. From there, we kind of start the inspection. We typically start on the roof. If it's safe enough, put a ladder up to the roof and actually walk the entire roof. From there, we do all the exterior uh, inspections. We look at the garage outside, and then um, we look at the air conditioner unit outside also. So that's kind of from there. And then after that, we go inside and we look at all the big mechanicals, just typically in the basement. After that, we kind of go through the house room by room, making sure that all the outlets are fine, there's no major cosmetic issues in the kitchen or, you know, dining room windows, doors, all that kind of stuff. What happens in that report? How do you distinguish or delineate, like, amongst all the things on that report, what is really important for that home buyer to consider? So our reports are uh, pretty comprehensive reports. They're broken down two different ways. The first way we break it down maintenance and minor issues and then versus safety and major concerns. Safety concerns and then major concerns meaning things that are going to cost a lot more money than say an outlet that needs to be fixed or something like that. The second way we break it down is a category in the house. When I mean say that I mean electrical and plumbing and heating and air conditioning and, and that kind of thing. So maintenance and minor issues versus safety and then you know each category of the home. Uh, and typically how much do these inspections cost? So we typically do four different types of properties. We do condos, townhomes, single family homes, and multifamily homes. Uh, condos are the least expensive. They start at 350 and they go up to usually around $450. Uh, the, everything's depending on size and age of the home. Townhouses are just a little bit more. They start at 375 and go typically to about 475. Single family homes, there's a bigger range. They start at $425. I say our average single family home is about 500 to $550. Multifamily homes are, again, more, it's just more to inspect, bigger properties. They start at uh, $600 and go up to a couple of thousand dollars. That's like your two flat, three flat, four flat. Correct, right? yeah, yeah. Now, uh, the inspection is complete after an hour and two hours. It's very interactive. The you know, home buyers, they're shadowing you. Um, what happens after the inspection? At the end of the inspection, I like to go over kind of the main points of concern in the home. Um, I like to do this just because when I send a report out to a buyer or an agent or whoever is um, getting the report, I don't like there to be any surprises. It kind of streamlines the process and just makes everything easier for everybody. Um, so we'll go over the, that at the end and then within Usually 24 hours, we send out the report. So last fun question I have for you, right? What is the craziest thing you've ever seen at a home inspection that's, that stands out in a recent memory or oh, that you've heard yeah, of from some I, of your peers? 
not really one thing. I've just been in houses where literally everything needs to be fixed. Um, <laughs> uh, it's just, and it's one of those things where, and like I said, people, when they get to the point where they're doing a home inspection, they have in their mind that they're going to buy the home for the most part. So I'd say I, I've been to a few homes where it's been pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> long report, huh? Yeah, long report, long report. <laughs> nice. Well, Ben, this was awesome. I, I learned a few new things myself. I know from personal experience, the first place I, I was ever gonna buy, my home inspector saved me big time. The unit looked really nice, it was dressed up, but you know, as they always say, when the snow, snow melts, the dirt appears. He, he went in there and he showed me some incredible things. And I do recommend that uh, any home buyer actually attend that because it, it was an incredible enlightening experience that the naked eye can't see. Uh, and it, it can potentially save thousands of dollars. So. Thank you, Ben, for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having me.